Hello everyone, it's Cisco Left, and I'm back yet again playing Subtech Ages. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'm having an awesome one myself, so let's get right back to this pack and start hammering things out. As per usual, you'll notice here I have a fancy new shield. It's actually really cool looking. Like, look at it. Look at it. You can't really see it from that side very well. Like that. Look at it. It's from the uh, Between Lands. It's actually from that orb we got yesterday. What was it called? Can't even pronounce it. Seer Morite? Seer? I'll just pronounce, pronounce it Seer. Anyway, <laughs> Seer Morite. It is a cool little shield. Someone told me in the comments to make it because we only got a little bit of that ore yesterday. But we did get enough for this. So this only took seven. Um, if you hold left shift and right click at the same time, then let go of left shift after you let it charge for a bit. You actually kind of shoot forward. And if you hit a mob, they actually go flying kind of forward. It's kind of like knockback. And then, yeah, you can kind of keep going though. So you kind of ram them a second time and do more damage. It's pretty cool. And you can hit them with it. It does like four hearts, I noticed. Two mobs with no armor. So, yeah, pretty cool little item. And it's a shield, man. And it's a shield. And it's cool. <laughs> so, I'm happy I made that. Uh, in between episodes, I did a quite a bit of stuff, actually. If you kind of take a look here. You notice I have a ton of rock crystals. Like, an insane amount. Um, that's because luck works on these. So, we the pig totem. The pig totem worked on these. This was one node. One node, and I got 130 of these things. So, very effective and very easy to get. I had to move the pig totem once, but who cares, man. Because, uh, yeah, I won't have to go back for rock crystals for a long time. I also went and got a bunch of lapis. So we have a bunch of lapis. Uh, the, the pig totems work on them, too. I just didn't get much because kind of looked at it. I don't see a big use for it yet, like, at all. Like, <laughs> barely. So I didn't figure a point to kind of rush that. Then I got some iron and gold as well. So I just kind of went to that spot kind of down on our map here. You notice this place with all the arrows. Our one-stop shop for all things ore. And, uh, yeah, I just hooked myself up there. I just basically walked from one to the next. It was easy as heck. It took me about an hour and a half, probably, to get, you know, grab all that stuff. And most of that was digging down. The only one that was a hassle was gold. That's only because the first time I dug down, the gold was actually in lava. So, yeah, I did bother with that one. Just moved on to the next one. But, uh, yeah, that's what I did. Also went ahead and made this turn table, because we're going to need it today. Uh, the first thing we're going to get to, probably, is going to be the bucket. So, we're going to work towards the iron bucket. But to get to the iron bucket, we need a clay bucket and a stone bucket. So you need two buckets to make a bucket. <laughs> Logic, man. Anyway, let's go ahead and kind of start the process. Let's kind of get that going. So the first thing we're going to do here is make a stone bucket. This stone bucket is going to be used just to pour gold on to make the cast. So we're going to kind of get that going. Do that. There we go. I'm actually going to make two casts as well. Um, the second one is actually for um, ender pearls. But I don't have it yet. Like, I saw one of the mini enderman but if you look in your quest book here kind of check over here see here defeat the ender menace uh endermen have begun spawning in the world slay them to obtain their ender dust i never got to kill it myself but apparently drop ender dust and if you kind of look at the ender dust you'll see to process it i just kind of setting up for the future right go to here go to use go to there you'll see that you can actually smelt it down the smeltery get the ender pearl kind of liquid there get all the juice uh and then use a pan cast so we're just going to go ahead and make the pan cast, I figure. Kind of, let's not use that. Let's use cobble. Get it out of the way, right? So we don't have to worry about that. Sweet. Let's grab the pan cast. There we go. Get that done. And then move on to the next part of it, which is going to be our clay bucket. I'm just going to leave that in there for now. <laughs> for all it matters. I'll leave that on me. We also have all our bits for our smeltery. So I kind of smelt or crafted it all up. Because there was only one thing that was different out of all of it. And what was it? Oh, I haven't even made them yet. The tanks. The tanks, uh, they just took, uh, clay barrels? Yeah, nothing really special there. Uh, what was I coming here for? I haven't crafted what I need to craft yet. I'm getting ahead of myself, man. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. My life's falling apart here. Let's go ahead and grab some clay. I'm pretty sure we need a barrel extension for this, so let's do that. This. Let me double check it real quick. Let's go to, uh, clay bucket. I want to make sure it was actually the extension and not the bucket. Yeah, it is the extension. Okay, let's grab that. That'll give us a clay bucket. Sweet. And then we can take that, and we're going to run that through the turntable. And that'll actually make us an uh, on-fire clay bucket, which is kind of what we're going for here. Then we'll have to fire it up, and then find a bucket of lava. <laughs> so the whole point of what I'm going for right now is the iron cannot be smelted with coal. So it actually needs a more powerful kind of fuel, and that fuel is lava. For us to get lava, we need a clay bucket. But we can only use a clay bucket once and then it gets destroyed. So you immediately want to make an iron bucket. 
So you can kind of, you know, have one that is going to get destroyed over and over and over. Anyway, did I just put the millstone back down? Look at all talky. Anyway, let's do that. Throw that right there. Oh. This thing has a little knob on the side, too. And that's basically just a speed control. We're not going to worry about that right now. That only matters really with clay, because it has kind of... It'll take, like, a single block of clay, and it turns into one thing, then it turns into one more, then it turns into one more. Kind of controls the speed, so you can kind of get what you want. And, uh, yeah, it's a thing. We'll probably have to get into that later on, but we don't right now. There we go. On fire clay bucket. Let's go get this cast. Cast? No, we'll get this smelted, and then check our cast, because we we'll probably get our pad done now. Let's go, and throw you right there. And check this out. What's going on? Do we get enough gold? No, we don't. <laughs> it's almost done. This gold takes a little bit to smelt up. But uh, we can get our bucket cast, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we might as well set up our smeltery as well. Yeah, that's going to take a second. Kind of get that done. I know you people are saying, oh, he's going to make us... Hi. Hello. How you, how you doing? You having a good day out there? Are you a bear? <laughs> going to eat this. I'm going to charge him. It's, it's going to happen. We're going to charge him. Field. Just for giggles. Where's he at? Tell me he didn't despawn. Okay. Sweet. Let's go. Oh, there's dogs out here too. Oh. <laughs> if I ever run into a bear and it does that, you know, I know I've reached a certain point in my life. <laughs> oh, that's great. This shield is fantastic. I have to say. <laughs> I love it. There we go. So, so much for them. Get rid of them. And I totally forget oh yeah we're gonna do the smeltery before i went all crazy with my shield anyway let's go here and actually make a smeltery this is gonna be a temporary area i really don't care where i put it right this second uh we're going to just kind of set up here i'm gonna dig out my basement later and probably move that uh the tinker what is it called like seared furnace and i think it's called the tinker tank because i don't have enough of the seared bricks right now but once we have this i think the seared uh bricks become way easier anyway so could uh kind of wait till we do that to kind of get to them. Why is my horse wandering around? I have no idea, man. Let's kind of go figure that out in a second. Every once in a while, their leads break, but they're really there because I go to use it. You actually get your lead back. I'm gonna see if that happened. Did I not grab my uh controller? No, I did not. I'm a total derp. Grab our smelter controller. Sweet. And probably got everything we need for the cast now, so might as well get that done. For that, there we go. That'll take care of that cast. So when we finally get the dust, I'll be able to just smelt it up as soon as we have lava. Uh, actually, as soon as I set this up, uh, we're going to... Ha well, I guess I'm going to. You guys aren't going to come with me. I'm going to be all alone. Uh, <laughs> I have to go get a single bucket of lava. And I don't have a lot of lava around my base. But I do have one kind of coming out of the side of the mountain, around the mountain there. So I'm going to go grab some mountain lava. <laughs> and uh, yeah, come back, get that. Then, I think I'm going to take all those tanks. Which Did I actually craft all the tanks? I did not. I'm such a dirt man. I'm all over the shop today. Let's kind of get these damn... I'm going to do a whole bunch of these too, because it's just going to speed up everything, right? So I made... You can really only need one basin and, you know, one casting table and you're good. I'm doing this so I can smelt up, you know, I can throw up a bunch of ores in here at once and kind of get it all, you know kind of done at once, that I don't have to kind of keep walking back and hitting this faucet to cast every time I want to. Because uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. Let's go there. Let's actually go make our tanks. Then we're pretty much done here. There we go. Should have that. Let's do that. Grab this. And I think it was just this, right? There we go. Got six. Fantastic. Each one of these can hold eight buckets of lava, I believe. So we should be able to, uh, you know, uh, I guess, tank up uh you know a good amount of lava <laughs> so it would be what 48 but, uh we'll do that so that'll be something i do here in a couple of minutes well first we gotta get this single bucket but i am gonna build this a little taller i suppose and then i'm gonna go look at my horse and see what's going on there man <laughs> probably do that on the way to lava anyway that's that this should be the multi-block as soon as you kind of have blocks around the top block so this is the main block this is the main block as long as the highest you know block as uh, seared bricks going around it in the ring. And it'll actually form the multi-block. You know it's multi-block because it's red. So all this thing needs now is a bucket of lava in here. And then ores in here. And then it's good to go to smelt. 
So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run around the mountain and probably figure out, well, I don't have to figure out. I know exactly where the lava is. Probably grab my lava. Did I lose another horse? I, I, I didn't see this. Is it going to give me a lead? It did not give me a lead. Is the lead actually break this time? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I don't want to make a lead this second. Can you get inside? I haven't tried to move one of these guys inside. There we go. I'm going to go get lava. I'll be back in a sec. And okay, I got halfway there and realized I forgot my bucket because I'm a total dirt. But anyway, we'll throw that in there. Throw that in there. And uh, we should be good to go now. So, yeah, I think we got everything. We grab our cast from over here as well. So let's grab that. Uh, we don't even need to use that melter at all. We can actually just cast everything in here. My horse is sitting on top of my framing table. I'll have to make him a lead pretty soon. But anyway, probably that and that. I want to get some of both of this kind of smelted up and going. So I don't think we need to smelt up anything else right now. But, uh, we got to get a runner, man. Which is pretty cool. So, uh, can we close that so my horsey doesn't get out? Actually, I don't think he can get out anyway, but better safe than sorry. We'll just throw the cast there. We're going to need iron in there. Oh, it doesn't have fuel yet, so it's kind of derping. Anyway, there we go. And there we go. It'll start smelting now. It didn't have enough heat. Now it does. That is kind of how that works. It does the same thing in the smelter if it has coal in it. So you can make any, you could actually, I think, use this tank on the smelter, on the uh, melter, I mean. But there's also a porcelain version as well, I believe. Yeah, right there, the porcelain tank. Doesn't matter which one. I made this one, and it gave me the quest either way, so we're pretty good there. We're actually looking pretty good for quest here. Um, we're going to have to get it into Astral very soon. It looks like, this is crazy here. So I kind of looked at these two, the, uh, look at this biome. Biomizer, this thing. This is Twilight Forest. We have to go to Twilight Forest to get that stuff. So that is crazy. And I also saw something else really crazy. Where was it? Is it? No. This, yeah, the uh, extended crafting table. This thing looks crazy too. It just seemed like it took a lot of stuff. Where is it? Crafting. And this is going to be like a bigger crafting table, I think. Although this might be just the basic one. This is the basic one. It's normal size. Then they kind of scale up after that. But yeah, you have to do a bunch of stuff. You need stardust and you need this black iron slate you just <laughs> you need immersive like just it's just doing stuff and things man but anyway we have our molten iron we could actually pour a bucket now and uh, that is pretty cool like look at it go should be able to do that too actually and that <laughs> get it all going at once see how much we got in there once everything is said and done and uh there we go we have our bucket man that's all it takes all it takes and we got one block, two wickets. Let's actually do that. And let's get some gold in there real quick. So let's do that. Because I wouldn't mind making an actual ingot cast. So we can actually cast ingots as well. Uh, I'll probably use a piece of seared stone just for the sake of using a piece of seared stone. That or brick would probably be our best bet. Probably the brick, but I'm going to use this anyway. There we go. Down once that's kind of smelted up. There we go. Need to just pour that there. And uh, we'll have, uh, you know, our uh, cast there. And it's using up our lava, but not a ton, right? This thing has quite the inventory. Not too bad. This is going to kind of get it all going. <laughs> just do it all, man. There we go. And I can just grab these blocks now. That feels so good. It really does, guys. That is fantastic. And this will be our first gold as well. Kind of like gold in our hand. I actually haven't had any kind of ingots in my hand yet. This is This is just first, man. This is all the first. Should be able to do that too. Should be enough. And that's why I have so many of these. Because otherwise you do one, then you wait. Then you do one. <laughs> Takes forever. Oops, let's not do that. Okay, sweet. And uh, we should be able to get into better tools pretty soon, which is pretty cool. Actually, now that I think of it. There we go. And what have we got left? Six there. What's going to be left there? Maybe I'll just start pouring this stuff off. Clear out the tank. <laughs> Call it a day, man. Oh, I still have iron to do, so I should do that. So what I'm going to do right now, actually, I'm going to stop messing around with my smeltery, because it is kind of a toy now for me to kind of entertain myself. But at the same time, we have very limited amount of lava. So what I'm going to do is probably go on a little trip by myself and head out for lava. So I know there's lava here, so there is a way of telling there's lava in the world, but it isn't 100%. So this right here, this is lava. So where is it at? Could I get there? You notice here where it's a little different? It's just kind of kind of ripped up. It's kind of got the little points around it. 
looks like a little maybe like the peak of a volcano um but it doesn't always do it because i know for certain because i just came back from this area there's two more lava pools right here so i was just like i kind of made a mental note and just kept walking because i knew i was going to need it um so it's not always on the map it's just supposed to be <laughs> but it isn't always there anyway so what i'm gonna do is head there i'm gonna fill up all these tanks and uh then i'm gonna come back and yeah we'll get on to something else i just want to make sure i have enough fuel to kind of keep running the smeltery because right now that is going to take long to run out and okay i'm back from getting lava but i really want to show you this guy like look at this guy oh not the cat not the cat these cats man yeah look at the knight he's very cool i don't know if you can get his horse i did knock one off the horse and it didn't actually let me kind of mount it anyway oh yeah he just gets angry he's mad about stuff He's not happy, but is that an Enderman way out back there? I think that is. Oh, they're breaking my armor. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Anyway, I want to fight this guy real quick because we might get our Ender Dust. That would be actually really cool. Did I get one? I didn't. That's unfortunate. I may actually look around for a little bit. Maybe if we can find uh, an Enderman and get some Ender Dust, maybe we can kind of do something with that. Because I'm kind of looking for stuff to do right now. I mean, there is kind of little bits and bobs to do. But uh, the main thing is Astral, and Astral is going to take the Resonating Wand, and that is going to actually take Ender Dust. That'd be really cool. These cats, man, you guys are horrible. <laughs> Gish, go away. Anyway, I'm going to run around for a little bit, because I haven't actually gone out at night looking for Enderman at all. And uh, maybe kind of look for a little, do a little look-see. <laughs> I love how these guys just attack everything across the countryside. Oh, there's an Enderman. Sweet. Nope, don't you blow up. You're blowing up. Don't blow up my yard. You're gonna blow up my yard. Anyway, <laughs> I need a slightly stronger sword. Come on, give me it. Why are they being so cheap? Come on. I'm gonna keep looking. There we go, these are the minis. I don't think they like... Yeah, they don't really fight you until you hit them. They're a little weird. But once you fight them, they go ham. <laughs> I've fought... Oh, we, did we finally get one? Because that is the... Well, I only fought, what, three tonight. Then I think I've fought two before this. And this is the first time I've ever gotten the actual drop. So, yeah, they were pretty kind of hard to get. At least for me. I'm not having any luck. So, yeah, I can't really plan with a pig um, totem so much, I guess, around them. Um... I guess you could, I mean, if I just stood around my base and just, uh, stared at them. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to work on the mini guys anyway, I guess. But uh, I haven't been seeing them until very... This is one of the first nights I think I've seen them, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, we got our Ender Dust, so we can actually get into Astro Sorcery now, which is fantastic. Oh, there's another one of those skeletons. I have to replace my armor, too, because these guys actually hurt a lot. <laughs> Let's just keep on going. We're almost out of food, and I don't want to mess with them. Anyway, let's get inside. Oh, man. Get inside and sleep. This place is horrible. Take your trumpet and go away. <laughs> what is that? That's not a normal skeleton. What is this thing? A frozen skeleton? That's from Ember Root Zoo, too. So another kind of ember mud. What did he drop? Did he drop glass? Not glass. Snow? Or ice. That's what I meant. Yeah, come on in. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh, they broke my boots, too. So I'm going to have to make another pair of wolf boots. I forget what they were. Wolf pelt. Oh, no. It was dog pelt. Dog pelt. There we go. Grab that. That's super easy. Okay. We got it. We, we have all those things. That shouldn't be any problem. I still have my horse inside of my house. That is definitely a thing. Let's go. There's four of those. I have more of these pelts around here somewhere. But, uh, we should be able to use glue, right? glue take that yeah i'm not worried about breaking these belts <laughs> these boots at all but, uh, anyway let's go and grab some string what else do we need here just a couple feathers sweet there we go and i think we got a new pair of boots oh we need uh, leather right forget about the whole leather thing i'm so full of stuff there we go sweet go here sweet and can I make my boots? What am I missing? I thought I got feathers. You know what? Go away, bulls. I can always make more bulls. They're super easy. 
Why does it not want me to have feathers? Am I out of feathers? Holy moly. Oh yeah, they were bundles of feathers. I'm such a derp. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go. That. That. Make the uh, wild pelt boots. There we go. Bundles of feathers. Even better. And there we go. We're back to having full speed again. <laughs> I'm going to have to definitely go and find a new set of arbor suit. Because, uh, yeah, our helmet just uh, kind of bit dust. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to have to keep spending all my quartz on this. Although, I mean, I could go get more quartz really easy. I guess. I suppose. Let's do that. This? And I'm curious. Can we just repair this? It seems like a lot of the stuff in this pack. I haven't tried it with Barbara yet. No, it doesn't work. Okay, but that's unfortunate. It was worth a try, though. Let's uh, throw you in there. And that's pretty cool. So, we have the Ender Dust. So, we have Ender Dust. That is kind of the main thing we're going for here. We have raw horse meat, because that's delicious. And I should have a bunch of food in here. Somewhere. Yeah, we use that. That's been sitting there for a while. Because I was focusing on other stuff for nutrition. But uh, we should be able to pour that into Pearl, which is really cool. So, let's kind of go and do that. Get that done. Let's go here. Let's grab the Ender Dust. Throw that in there. I'll smelt it up pretty quick, too, so that's not too bad. My inventory is so clogged up. I don't want to throw away that dirt because two uh, creepers kind of blew up on my front lawn. So I need to keep my dirt. That's definitely something I want to do. Let's see here. Drop off clay. I guess we drop off feathers. Did that give us? It gave us a uh, full iron sword too. That's pretty cool. Oh, huh. anyway. Let's go back and see if uh, that is done smelting. Probably is. It is. And can we just pour that? Now that's the bucket cast. Where is my, uh, oh, it's right in my inventory. <laughs> Me the panic. Both the panic going, I don't have it. But, uh, there we go. We have interpols. That is awesome. That is actually fantastic. Look at that, man. Awesome. Did we get the quest for that? So I just did. Oh, it's because I didn't do it in order. I have to do this one. So the constellation paper. Let's go do the constellation paper. What do we need here? That'll kind of get us into the bod, right? So constellation paper. Gonna have to do Necro Nomicon ritual. So we're gonna need parchment. And I could do it there. Okay. But I could do the uh the wand, right? So I, I need the wand for the mod. And that was kind of the main thing we need this for. And I think we can just craft that now. So that is actually pretty cool. Let's actually make the resonating wand. Uh, that is kind of a stepping stone thing that we need. So grab you. And I'm guessing we're gonna have a chisel soon, because I don't know how else. We're going to get uh, the, what is it, the last component there? The last component would be the things that we need, which are uh, the marble. <laughs> the marble for the mod, all the different types. We're definitely going to have to use that. So we have that. Let's grab some paper. We have aquamarine. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much good to go. Awesome. Okay. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> let's go here and let's make a slime sling really quick. Cause that'll actually help out a ton. And the slime sling would be super easy with glue. So we'll just do that, right? Get rid of that. Should be able to turn that back to the slime blocks. Or sorry, slime balls. Then I think it's one. For the sling. Right? It's only one block, right? Yeah, we could just do that. There we go. We got a slime sling too, which is actually fantastic. And, uh, yeah, we can actually get up the mountain a little faster now, so that is pretty cool. Let's head up there, see if we can get our parchment, maybe get back down. And okay, this is where I've had my crafting table, kind of threw it up here. I don't know if we're going to be able to have enough power to do the parchment recipe, but uh, we're sure going to try. Let's uh, throw that in there. And I just figured higher was better, so I thought I'd do that, because we have no way of actually checking how much starlight is in the area at this time. But, uh, yes, we can do it. Sweet. So we can actually craft up the parchment. That is cool. And uh, we'll be able to get this uh, kind of quest done. Oh, that actually gives us four. Oh, if that gives us four, let's actually do two recipes really quick. Because uh, there's actually five of them per... Well, I guess when you first get into the mod, when you first get into the Astral Sorcery, there's five of the uh, Constellation Papers that you can kind of get a hold of. Uh, later on, it gets up to 12, but you have to kind of progress through uh, to a different point in the pack. But if we can get up to the five of them, kind of get that going, then that'd be sweet, right? So let's get that. Let's do that. Boom. My inventory is so clogged up. Probably throw some of that. I love the music in this mod. It's just 
it's, it's beautiful. Beautiful, man. Let's go and grab. I guess it's just the ritual, right? That, throw that, that way. I'm not worried about fall damage at all, because we're men here. <laughs> That's actually awesome. Okay, let's go and take a look at that ritual. What was the constellation? Sweet. Let's go here, here, that. We only need 500 PE for that. Two rock crystals and two gold. So I just need some gold. Uh, I could actually probably go here and just grab two from here. I think we still have something here. Yeah, we do. Grab you. I'm going to need a chest for all of our uh, to get cast. But, uh, that's not a big deal this second. Get two of those done. One. Get you while you're casting. So we'll run in here, grab some rock crystals. Let's see here. Don't need you. Don't need you. I could live without bear, bear meat, to be honest. I have so much food now. That one's junk. I'm looking for the ones with the lowest purity. Purity is actually the hardest number to raise on these things, so usually the best thing to use. Anyway, that's that. Should have our gold. So it was two gold, right? Was it four aquamarine, I believe? I'm just going to assume it was. One, two, three, four. It was a parchment in the center. And what else? Two rock crystals. Okay. Looking good, man. Looking like we're going to get her done. That's awesome, man. That and that. Okay. Okay. And uh, parchment. And then I have to find my book. Because I think I have it in a chest, don't I? I do, too. <laughs> Let's go this way. I think it's uh, it here. It's in one of these ones. Yeah, right there. Yeah, go. We still got tons of PE in this. So we are good to go. Should just have to shift right click. And look at that. Get another nasty ritual. <laughs> I've already done a screenshot of that. I can't do that again. But uh, yeah, we're going to get this. And uh, we'll be able to get into uh, Astro Sorcery, which is really cool. Uh, it's awesome. Look at that. Whoa, that did a whole bunch of stuff. Filling in the gas. Defeat the Enderman. And Resonation. Oh, probably gave me one for the wand. Oh, so I kind of jumped ahead. That's cool. And okay, the next thing we're going to get to here is going to be the light well. We kind of need that kind of to move forward. Because uh, either of these quests here uh, both need a bucket of starlight. So the next level of uh, crafting table and the fossil resonator. They both require liquid starlight. So we can't really do anything without that. So we might as well just go straight for the light well. Kind of work on that. Uh, we're going to need a rock crystal, a couple aquamarine. Three rune marble and two chisel. That should be pretty, pretty simple, I would think. Let's go and grab a couple rock crystals. Doesn't even matter which ones, to be honest. Let's just grab them. Um, let's get. What else did we do here? Probably gonna actually grab. Yeah, we got enough. I only need one really, but I, I can use it to actually make the liquid starlight. And I have a lot more of those crystals than I do aquamarine. So actually, I have about the same. You don't use anywhere near as many rock crystals, so. Yeah, seems like a good way to do it. I think it produces faster as well. And more. Definitely more. Uh, so we need to make uh, the other kind of marble there. To do that, we're going to need a chisel, right? I believe. So let's take a look there. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. I did finally clean up my inventory. Which is great, because it's probably pretty much near the end of the episode. So that is definitely a thing. But anyway, let's grab our chisel. Let's go here. And kind of get this goat here. Let's go. Group of two, group of three. Throw those in. We'll need the runed. And the chisels, right? I think that was the right numbers. Yeah, it was. Okay. And a rock crystal. Doesn't really matter. We'll have to head up the mountain again. Good old mountain. <laughs> Hopefully I can get up there a little cleaner this time. I don't know. Nope. No luck, man. Keep hitting leaves every time I use this thing. I'm just having no luck at all with this thing. But anyway, let's head over here. Kind of head on up. I do like this thing, actually, without... <laughs> The uh the boots, man. The slime boots? That that bouncing drives me insane sometimes. It just I don't know. Just just drives me batty. It drives me batty. Anyway. At least there's no uh creepers up here. I do need to get this place kinda lit up. Kinda just threw it up here to have it at the highest point. Didn't really think about anything else other than that. So we should be able to take this and just kinda get the recipe done. So it should be pretty simple. We should be able to just do that. Hold that there. Give it an aquamarine and throw a rock crystal in. And there we go. If that appears there, that means it's ready to go. That means you got your, you got enough starlight and you got the recipe right. So we're just going to shift right click that. And it's going to start doing a little ritual. This is going to be a short one. These early ones don't take very long. 
and they get uh, harder as they go, or I guess more, you know, grandiose. But we've got our quest, has reached the goal, liquefy, so we have that one, and that one probably did not unlock anything. Oh, it kind of shows us forward, though, doesn't it? It shows you two quests forward. So we see that we're going to need Star Middle. What's that say? Enter the Twilight Forest, I mentioned. Wow, okay. To continue your journey, fill a 2x2 two two hole with water, surround it with plants and saplings or flowers, and throw an Astral Story... Whoa. Astral Sorcery Star Metal? Really? Okay, so, yeah, we gotta use Astral to get into um, Twilight Forest. That is really weird. And that's not the last quest, either, so I'm wondering... Maybe it's something that Twilight is the last quest? I guess we'll see when we get there. That is pretty cool. But anyway, we should be able to take this. Actually, let's take this back down the base. We don't need to be up here right now. Because I really just need to kind of produce two bucks of Starlight. Pretty much, I think, two right away uh, for the next video, right? Because <laughs> we're almost done here. Let's go and throw this down here. There we go. And I'm going to grab a rock crystal since it's still nighttime. You want to do this only at nighttime, really? Because otherwise, it's a waste. But uh, that'll just start producing Starlight. And uh, for some reason, we can't get numbers on it. Hey, can you not do that? You and your friend? Your little dog, too? Just rude, man. There we go. These guys, too. The zombies, they drop these red orbs. And apparently, if you walk around with a glass bottle... And I have actually done it. I ran around, I made a glass bottle. I grabbed one of these orbs. And it says that I wasn't familiar with whatever I got. It gave me some kind of potion. <laughs> so I have no idea. Anyway, not going to worry about it. Uh, yeah, that is filling up pretty quick. So that is awesome. Okay, so yeah, the rock crystal fills that up way faster. Like, insanely. Aquamarine wouldn't be any weird near that. Can't remember how much this holds, though. I can't remember if it's just one bucket or more than one. I guess we'll figure that out over time as well. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool, man. And okay, I think we're going to wrap this one up here. Just going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop up by, say hello, any of that jazz, feel free. Everyone is welcome. Just keep classy. That's all I ask. Uh, I also have a Patreon. And a Patreon server that is currently running this pack. Actually, a pretty beefy server. It's a, it's a dedicated man. It's pretty cool. But uh, it's only running one server, one pack right now. In time, it's going to be running, you know, probably three. So definitely the thing. But uh, yeah, if that's something you're interested in, it's definitely going to be down in the description. So you can check that out. But I am going to end this here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys to have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.